Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Josh and I'm here at the Martin Road Climb at the famous Paris to Ancaster bike race. In the last few years, I've been riding a 29er mountain bike and it was doing the trick, but I wanted to get a little more time shaved off in my race. And so this year I've decided to pick up the GT Grade Tiagra. And uh, so far it's been a pretty sweet bike. All right, so I've had this bike for a little over three months now and the Grade Tiagra has honestly lived up to the hype. At just over 1500 bucks, this thing has got a ton of trickle down technology and the Tiagra group set, even though it might not be the highest end, has got a really smooth shift and I've been super happy with it so far. So some of the other main features that I was looking at when I was trying to decide on what bike I'd go with uh, were the carbon fork on this bike, just dampens any extra vibration you might get on really crappy roads, gravel roads, uh, and some single track. But the main feature that sets this apart from most of your road bikes is the rotor and disc brakes on this guy. It actually gives you more clearance because it's not grabbing onto the rim of the bike. So you can actually put on a bit of a wider tire up to a 38 seat. Ultimately, I need a bike that could do a bit of everything. In the next few weeks, I'm actually going on a ride up to Wasega. It's about 10 hours and this bike just seemed like it fit the bill. It's got a bit of a wider bar set. Uh, they're flared out, so it just instills more confidence. I'm not a road cyclist. I need something that had that profile, but a little more slack, so I'd be a lot more comfortable on a long distance ride like that. So the only con to this bike, and I don't even know if you can call it one, are the Schwalbe road cruisers that come on the bike. They're a 32C tire, so they're a little bit wider, which is fine, but they are slicks. And slicks climbing up steep gravel roads like Martin Road, and other ones that you might come across, you are gonna slide out and uh, skip a little on the route up. It's not really that big a con though because you can always swap them out to a fatter 38C and uh, more of a gravel grinder or cross tire. So ultimately, I love this bike and I've been having a great time on it so far. All right, and that's it. That's my review on the 2017 Grade Tiagra. Again, I've been loving this bike so far and if you have this bike or any bike in the Grade lineup, feel free to leave a comment below or any other comments you might have, so check it out.